Florence Nightingale. She was the founder of modern nursing. She was born on May 12, 1820, in Florence, Grand Duchy of Tuscany, Italy. Her father's name was William Nightingale, and mother's name was Frances Nightingale. She had one sister. Florence was born into a rich, well-connected British family. Florence was raised at Lee Hurst, where she received classical education included German, Italian, and French. At the age of 16, Florence had a very keen interest in philanthropy and caring for the sick. That time, nursing was looked down upon by the society at the time. After much opposition, Florence decided to enter the field in 1844. She enrolled herself as a student at the Lutheran Hospital of Pastor Fliedner in Kaiserwerth, Germany. She then worked hard to educate herself in the art and science of nursing. After visiting Egypt and Paris, she realized that disciplined and well-organized nuns or sisters made better nurses than women in England. In 1853, she was appointed superintendent of the hospital for invalid gentlewoman. At the time of the Crimean War, around 18,000 soldiers were injured and admitted into military hospitals. Nightingale received a letter from Secretary of War, Sidney Herbert, requested to help the injured. She assembled a team of more than 30 nurses and sailed to Crimea immediately. There the condition of the soldiers there was much worse than expected. The soldiers were in a horrible state due to the lack of proper sanitation and unhygienic surroundings. The medicine supply was not sufficient. Nightingale quickly got to work and tried to lower the death rate. The war was over by March 1856. An estimated 94,000 men were sent to the war front, out of which almost 4,000 died of battle wounds, 19,000 died of diseases and 13,000 were invalidated out of the army. Florence returned to England as a national hero, but she was deeply shocked by the mass death that took place right before her eyes because of poor sanitation. Therefore, she was determined to begin a campaign that would improve the quality of nursing in military hospitals. She started investigating before the Royal Commission on the Health of the Army and that resulted in the formation of the Army Medical College. In 1855, the Nightingale Fund was set up to open up a training school for nurses. By 1860, the Nightingale School and Home for Nurses was established at St. Thomas Hospital. She could not be the superintendent because of her Crimean fever, but she closely watched the progress of the institution. When the Indian Mutiny broke out in 1857, she wished to come to India and help improve the sanitation facilities. Even though she could never come, she played an instrumental role in getting a sanitary department established by the Indian government. She chose to remain a spinster as she believed marriage would hamper her calling. She had a relationship with a politician, Richard Monckton Milnes, that lasted for nine years, but it did not lead to marriage. She was very good friends with Sidney Herbert, Secretary of War, and had a deep relationship with Benjamin Jowett, who wanted to marry her. She was awarded the Royal Red Cross by Queen Victoria in 1883. In 1910, she was awarded the Badge of Honor of the Norwegian Red Cross Society. International Nurses' Day is celebrated every year on her birthday. 
She died peacefully at the age of 90 in South Street Park, London on 13 August 1910. I attribute my success to this, I never gave or took any excuse," said Florence Nightingale.